Sharon, everyone says that your memory is very good. Can you memorize like scripts very fast? So used today, to, used to. <laughs> I'm sure it's still young. very good. In our next Toying Around segment, we'll put your memory to the test okay. in our game we call we will give you a zoomed in portion of a picture and you will have to try and guess which show it was from. Okay. And also you have to tell us something interesting or something we don't know about that particular show. These are my shows, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, of course this one I will never forget. This is the... Mm -hmm. This is the, 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 the... What do you call that? This is the poster for my very first musical, mm -hmm. I Have a Date with Spring. Buntik planted the four of us, the four sisters, uh -huh. into the float. He planted also many, many flowers, flowers. on us, forgetting wow. that we are not soil, you know. So he just poked into us. <laughs> oh no! And, and you know, we're just supposed to look very comfortable <laughs> for the shoot. We hardly knew each other. Oh. It was our first time, you like, know. First meeting. time meeting each yeah, other. Yeah, we were just told, okay, you play Feng Ping, okay, you play Lulu, you play Nancy, <laughs> I'm Xiao Tie. Squeeze together, must look like we're best friends. Wow. Okay, then have a lot of roses and sunflowers stepped into <laughs> our flesh. We were supposed to look like mm -hmm. we were taking a bath. So oh. we only could walk, wear tube and very uh, tight shorts. Okay. And that's why Buntik try and cover the rest of us with oh. plants so that we look naked, you see. You see, we, ah, wow, yeah, we look so beautiful nice. and lovely. <laughs> Actually, we're in pain. <laughs> Tongko. <laughs> Wu Wen. Da. He had such a good vision, mm. except that it was very hard to execute. Right. I, I'm now trying to recall if he tried to put, he tried to add water or not. Because knowing him, he's crazy, you know. Do you he, remember it being wet? No, no, no. I don't think there was water. I don't <laughs> think there was But this is the thing about Buntik. Mm. Uh, his creative vision, when he's executing it, you will never understand what he's doing. So, but then you have to trust the process. Right. It's only after that when this mm. whole product came out, then we realized, oh, so this was what <laughs> this you were was trying what to you achieve. Had in mind. Yeah, but at that time it was just pure pain. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Okay. That was when I was mm. 19 years old. Wow. I'm 47 now. Okay. You still Next. Look very... Hey, this is Chen Mei Guang for sure. Chen Mei Guang, 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 Guang. Can you imagine in a day 24 um, scenes from mm. morning to night? That means you have 24 sets wow. of dresses plus slash earrings slash handbags slash shoes. Oh my god. And you have to make sure you don't get them wrong. So I look so glamorous and beautiful, yeah. but in actual fact, um, um, there was a lot of effort put into mm. and there was a lot of hard work. Because at that time, I was still uh, in the beginning stage of my career. Ah. So I didn't have uh, the power to, to ask for an assistant. Right. So you imagine going to stage, really? Wow. So again, this shows, uh, mm. you know, whatever you see on TV, on screen, uh, it's really quite another story usually behind, uh, behind the, the scene. Yes. But I think what I learned from that stage of my life, which was three years, we did three series, three seasons of Boy In Ren, was mm. that um, no matter how challenging things get, you must always remember to be very humble and very hardworking. Mm. That kind of training was, to me now in hindsight, ne necessary. Okay, I need to tell you another secret mm. which very, very few people know, except maybe just me and Lena. Mm. It was quite a, a difficult and challenging thing for her because she had to snip off her long hair. Okay, I can't remember. Either they didn't want to put a wig or rather they did try and it was unnatural. Okay. And Lena being the professional actress mm -hmm. she, she is, she just said that, it. okay, if I'm wow. going to play this role, I'm just going to be like Xiao Lapa. So I'm going to cut my hair short like that. Wow. And at that time, for an mm. actress to cut her hair so short, yeah. it's a bit risky because it reduces the, the potential of, of the roles, roles that can come your way. Yes. So you must wait for your hair to grow mm. long again. At that time, there was a lot of struggle. But once she committed to that role, she went all out. Mm. And to me, she wow. nobody can play Xiao Lapa the mm. way she played Xiao Lapa. She played it not just superficially playing a tomboy. Mm. She played it even from the way she 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 moved wow, and the, uh, she sad. she maneuvered her volume of her mm. voice, the tone of wow. her voice. It's just you know. Mm. So to me, that is such a huge challenge. In fact, 
if you compare the easier role to play is Chen Mei Guang, because Chen Mei Guang is uh, dizzy and then ah, Chen Mei Guang. Yeah. I, I, I'm so glad you chose this picture because I've always had respect for Lina mm. since that day. Uh, the next photo will be this. Alama! <laughs> yes, yes, this is Jessa. Yes. One of my most enjoyable plays. <laughs> uh, I had the best time rehearsing with uh, this group of um, actors. Mm. We rehearsed in Hua Chong Junior College and because I'm from Hua Chong, so I'm very very happy to go back to my, again my alma mater. Mm. Boon Tech is very particular about mm. um, the bonding between actors. So we did everything together, we, 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 we played, we ate together. Aww. Okay, for that particular play, we did a lot of experimental mm. stuff. So rolling on the floor, doing strange stretching exercises, doing mm. strange warm-ups, running round and round, <laughs> playing, catching and all that. It was my very first time mm -hmm. uh, engaging in that kind of group activities mm. as an adult. So it was very refreshing for me. It also recharged my energy to be with uh, the, the younger thespians. Mm. Uh, and at the same time, I learned so much from them because they are very open and giving. We had a lot of food. There were always people sending us food. Ooh. Suddenly there's Rocho Road Tao Hui. You know? wow. And then suddenly there's, uh, there's a lot of pao from this very famous pao mm. shop. Because we were well fed, that's why we could roll on the floor. <laughs> of course, I know this one is Tom Lei Yu, mm. 1998. I was 23 years old and um, I think that time uh, I must be maybe getting slightly more famous really because suddenly we have many sponsors mm -hmm. just dying to dress me and to sponsor oh. our play. My kabaya was made with very expensive textile and mm -hmm. fabric. This must be one of the best sarong kabayas I've ever worn. Even my jewellery, they were all real diamonds that wow. cost up a million dollars or maybe more, okay? Huh? Because wow. this character is a very rich uh. mistress and she is being showered with lots of jewels wow. and diamonds from the master. So Li Hua jewellery, okay, every night <laughs> with two bodyguards, okay, will stand outside my dressing room, mm -hmm. dress me up and then they will stand outside by the side wing, just waiting for me to finish the show and then just collect all the things back, okay? <laughs> wow, but I tell you, I got too too deep into the role. I think uh -huh. I went crazy. Oh no. By the way, the role is crazy. Uh. By the way, this funny lady, she is a bit, she went insane oh. in the end. Uh. She, she, there was this scene with the rain on her and she's just uh -huh. all wet and she wow. just went completely broke down and mad, okay? Mm -hmm. and, and the scene goes like, Nikola Tso! Okay? Nikola <laughs> Tso! Okay, with this huge hand gesture and just very, very, very insane and break down because that's the end of her, yeah. her life. You know, her, her, the, the man he, she really loved has left her and, and, and the, the, the master also realised that she's having an affair with the man and the man is the son of the master. By the way, this is really oh. a family tragedy. Please read mm. Tao Yu Lei Yu, okay? So many diamonds! Then wow! Five five carat diamonds all fling, 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 all fling onto the stage. Bangles all come out, rings all come out. But I just <laughs> Justin stopped laughing. Justin was there. Maybe he was sweating and he's like, Shit, oh no, how am I gonna reimburse my insurance? Oh dear, we are all gonna uh -huh. die. Then I didn't know, I didn't because I was in a role. Yeah, yeah, as an yeah. actress. Yeah, you're you too don't deep get affected yeah, by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Then we wow, what a successful show. Everybody's sending ovation, curtain call. I realised why everybody around me, the backstage, ASM, SM, maybe Buntik and Justin, I don't know, <laughs> all like gone mad, you know, because they were all looking <laughs> after that, you know, instead of telling me what a wonderful actress I was, they were just like on the floor, <laughs> sprawl on the floor, and, oh, where are the rings? And it went to the audience, went mm. to the... Actually, until today, I'm not sure if they found the ring. They all I know all of uh, was Liwa Jewelry never sponsored me again. <laughs> Next night, because we perform for many nights. Next night, mm -hmm. us. Eh, Sharon, uh, you know, I know you're very rude, you know, in his usual, very calm way. Uh, maybe for that scene, you just use inside. You don't need to fling like that. Yeah, yeah. Use inside. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> so I, I said, but I cannot control, you know, when I'm in the moment where, where, where. Then the costume people stick us, stick them. Oh. Blue <laughs> and the scotch tape. You cannot risk. Just in case. Every night you fling and then some lucky audience walks away with five, oh no. five diamond, car carat diamond ring. Wow. Maybe that's the appeal. No wonder it was full house again. Are you sure this is the right direction? Okay, no. It's really like that. It's really like that. Like that. I'm looking at my reflection, <laughs> checking my hair suddenly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any hint, was I in this play? 
Yes. Okay, okay. So these all these pictures involve me, right? Mm. A has a number in the name. Number. Mm-hmm. Two hours later. Select this photo, huh? I don't know. It's, I guess they left the toughest one. It's a for the fan slap. <laughs> Guys, who will remember this fan? <laughs> this is the most recent one. I'm also ashamed of myself. It's the oh. most recent one, and yet I cannot recognize no this. No, it's. My, my last play with Toy Factory and also for Huayi. And I played Tao Zhu Xi, the, mm-hmm. the CEO. Uh, and I have this huge. Max Tan makes the best, yes. most fabulous dresses <laughs> ever. This, this, this was the opening scene. And me and Elvin, we had to dance down this flight of steps wow. to arrive at this foyer of, the, of the, the, the set. It was quite a tricky one because the dress was big and huge and mm. I was wearing heels mm. and yet I had to dance and gracefully Make glide it down. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Really... It, 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 well, our nightmare, me and Alvin, was mm. uh, always every night to not to tumble down and uh, uh, look like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> we were really like Humpty Dumpty because of our clothes. This play I did after 13 years elapsed. That means from my last play, to working with Buntik wow. to this. There was a 13 years uh, lapse. I was very, very excited to be on stage, but more importantly, to work with Buntik and Toy Factory. Because mm-hmm. Toy Factory always, to me, is like my family. Yeah. So to be able to come back <laughs> and you know play with my family mm-hmm. again, I gladly you know flew back from Aww. Paris uh, just, to, just to work with work with them. And this role was, was a powerful, feminist role, mm. so I really loved it as well. Wow. And this was so memorable because <laughs> it was just elegant. before the so-called the outbreak of uh, COVID-19 in Singapore. Ah. So when we were doing these plays, there was news about this um, virus. Mm. At that time, it wasn't even coined COVID-19. Yeah. We were all aware, but we were all not going to realise that it was going to be such a such huge a big thing. pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember right after this show, the subsequent program lineup mm-hmm. for this Huayi uh-huh. were all affected. Either oh. the troupe didn't make it to Singapore mm. because of the restrictions, or yeah. some just had to cancel, cancel. because of the, the, mm. the outbreak. Yeah. So we were the very last wow. to see a full house. And uh, uh, I would never forget that mm. moment of uh, urgency mm. in, in, in performance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. That wow. aspect. I love the word aspect. <laughs> Why? Is it an ass or is it aspect? Yeah, how do you say it? Aspect. 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 aspect.